<sighs> Looks so peaceful from up here. It always does. But it never is. I know, Icarus. I'm tired too. I've met so many people. Harkons, kings, and now Isu. They're all the same. Go do this. Bring me that. Go kill him. I don't know if I can do this anymore. If I were ruler, things would be much, much different. What's that, Icarus? A speech from your new ruler? <clears throat> You! Bring me the biggest bed in Atlantis! You! All the pillows you can find! Tonight, we sleep. For we are very, very tired. We're almost done, Cassandra. I'm too small to carry a bed, but if I brought you a pillow, could you help me? You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. I'm sorry, I didn't want to interrupt the Digastis' speech. Eh? It was more of a fantasy, really. Call me Cassandra. I thought it was wonderful, Dicastis Cassandra. <laughs> Just Cassandra is fine. And what's your name? Alcon. You're even more special than all the bedtime stories my... parents used to tell me. What's wrong? My parents are missing. They left for their assignments, but they never came home. The Isu won't help me. But then I remembered the story of you helping a lost girl in the underworld, who found her parents in Elysium. So I came to you. A child without his parents? Not on my watch. As the Castis of Atlantis, I declare this unacceptable. Oh, thank you, Dicastis Cassandra. You said your parents never came home. If you could tell me where they're assigned, and what their names are, it would be very helpful. Mata's name is Rene. She's assigned to the harbor. Pater is called Damadis, and he's assigned to the adamant quarry. You're very brave. Now, go home where it's safe. I'll go talk to the harbor master and whoever is in charge of the quarry. I'll come find you once I have some answers. The Castis, have you come to analyze the recently discovered coral permutations fastened to the hulls of our vessels? Uh, no. I'm looking for a woman named Rini. Uh, yes, well, that is a subject I have absolutely zero authority in, I'm afraid. I cannot help you. Her son is very worried. doing? I like humans, and I liked Rini. Poor Alcon. But if they hear me talking to you, they'll kill me. Tell me where she is, or I'll cut you. Oh, I told you, I, I don't know anything. You'll find my contact not far from here, but be careful. A trap has been set for you. You have made the Dicastis very angry. Thank you. Please don't tell Poseidon! You have compassion, Dicastis. You may be the only one who can calm the brewing storm between humans and Isu.
The harbour master was right. They're waiting for me. Well, I'd hate to disappoint them. I'm going to find him. I want that there's a lot of guards for a quarry. I wonder why. Isn't this an honor? How'd you get past my guards? I'm looking for the Madis. And why would the great Vikastis be looking for missing humans? I never said he was missing. Very clever. Hybrid. When my humans transport adamant to the experimentation chamber, they don't always return. Occasionally they fall through the cracks, like rats. Tell me where this experimentation chamber is, or I'll make you eat your precious adamant. Primitive. Violence is all your kind understands. Tell me! <sighs> Fine. It's in the garden of Kimopolia. But you're wasting your time. The doors are locked. And I'll just have to find the key. You can try. Hybrid. You know, treating humans like vermin will get you killed one day. 
That day is today. like the sounds of this experimentation chamber. And what do the Issu need with all this adamant? Halcon's probably wondering where I am. I'll go see him. Digastis Cassandra, did you find matter and pattern? Not yet. But I know they were taken to some sort of experimentation chamber by an issue named Zarios. Zarios? But he was always so kind to us. He gave us food and defended us when the others called us rats. Do you know where I could find him? The doors to the chamber are locked and he's my last hope of getting in. He's usually at the fortified doma of Miniseas, but he's always protected by guards. That never stops me. Zarios, you've abducted your last human. the one Atlas gave me. Maybe it can help me get into the experimentation chamber. Looks like the perfect place to hide missing humans. Locked. But I think I know what opens this. The more 
more complicated the key, the bigger the secret. doesn't want any visitors. I should be extra careful in this area. My name is Aita. I am a scientist, and in many ways, these are my children. You created the Minotaur, the Cyclops, the Riding Dread. They're monsters. Are we not all monsters? Imperfect beings striving towards our ultimate potential. Is that not why you're here? <laughs> I'm here because a little boy's parents are missing. And all signs point to you. How very... human. Huh? 
doing here they came for me in the night I'll never be safe don't worry I'm getting everyone out of here didn't anyone teach you it's cruel to lie what what's cruel is abducting and experimenting on these people without sacrifice there can be no progress without experimentation there can be no perfection you're breaking Poseidon's law I am advancing knowledge for the betterment of Atlantis. Poseidon's lack of vision keeps us in darkness. But we are close. So very close. Humans are not animals to be caged and tortured. We created them to serve us. That is their sole purpose. Let these people go. It's too late for them. Project Olympos has already begun. One human escaped before the transformation was complete, and lives were lost. This won't happen again. Surely you understand. So, you've seen the beast she becomes. I'm getting these people out of here. But, don't you want to know what's behind this door? I won't play your little games. I'm getting these people out of here. So, you would choose to let your small-minded morality hinder your progress? What if I just killed you, set these people free, and broke through your stupid door? <laughs> you can't kill me, Cassandra. I can see you're struggling. What if I told you the greatest achievement in Atlantis is behind that door? And that we owe that achievement to you? What are you talking about? Through there is a path to immortality. For you. For us. Embrace your legacy. Forget these miserable humans. Abandon morality and the answers to all your questions are just beyond that door. Please! Save us or we'll die! You will be reborn! Don't you want to know why you're really here? Free the people and this door will remain closed to you forever. Pass through, however, and it will lock behind you. These rats will be mine. What will it be, the Gastis? Their lives? Or your destiny? Fuck your door. I promised a little boy I'd bring his parents home, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, very disappointing. No matter. If there are two things Atlantis has in ample supply, it is adamant and humans. Come on, let's get out of here. Thank you, Vicastis. I'll get to see Alcon again. Hurry! How can we ever repay you? Tell your son if an issue ever calls him a rat again, because this Cassandra will deal with them personally. Oh, 
I don't lie to me. They've been experimenting on humans this whole time. The Gastes has returned. I can only presume you've delivered judgment to Atlantis. You said you outlawed experimentation on humans. All of it was lies. The issue are out of control. What are you talking about? My laws are absolute, and by them all must abide. I have declared it. Your laws have done nothing. People are suffering under your rule, and you don't even realize it. No one would have the audacity to disobey me. Surely this is a mistake. You should listen to her, you know. Shildo. Impossible! You're forbidden from entering the city. Guards! Your guards respect your sons. And when you appointed that hybrid as your Dicastis, your sons turned to us. Even my sons know better than to bow to a warmonger! The humans are bringing war whether we want it or not, Poseidon. They should after what you've done. You mean what they've forced us to do. Poseidon worries about the sun and his solar floral regeneration project. Catastrophe is coming for us. On that we agree. But there is only one catastrophe. Humanity. You can't trust Eta. He's a lunatic. You have no idea the monsters. He's trapped in his hidden lair. It was hidden only to Poseidon. My wife knew everything about it. Hybrid. Project Olympus was my idea. The end of a cycle in Atlantis doesn't have to be a catastrophe. It's far worse. We've detected changes in the surface of the sun. If we don't prepare... If we don't prepare, humans will kill us all. The only ecological catastrophe we face is the one we created ourselves. When I got here, Poseidon said I was where I belonged. Someone tell me why I'm really here, now! Such sadness. She's even more human than I expected. Eta, answer her. Gladly. In you, we found opportunity. Imagine the possibilities if we duplicated your hybrid form. We could employ our technology to control your mind. You, hybrid, can be used to craft Juno's ultimate weapon. Or rather, you could have been. My husband's experiment was promising, but after observation, we've decided you are a failure. Our new weapon is far deadlier than you could ever be. The Ekatohires. Aida, you didn't. I did. The Ekatohires will rise. Project Olympus will strike fear so deeply into the hearts of humanity, they would never consider revolt. And you will declare my husband the Dicastis Vasilevs. Dicastis, stop this. If they are successful, we are doomed. All of us. You have to trust me. You, deal with these two. I'll find a way to stop their plans. Too late. The procedure was already a success. The Ekatohires lives. Can't you hear him stir? <laughs> you did this in my laboratory under the palace. Entrance was barred when I outlawed human experimentation. What is that sound? Is that your weapon? I will bring justice to these two. 
but I need you to stop the Agadohires before he kills us all. Go!
remarkable. You really are the greatest of the humans and of my people. Where is Juno and Eta? Imprisoned, for now. But they will not stop. If imprisonment won't stop them, then leave them alone in a room with me. I'll make sure they never hurt anyone again. And what would that prove? That you're as cruel as Juno and her husband? I don't intend to prove anything. I intend to stop this, and save those that suffered because of your hubris. So in the end, you brought judgment to Atlantis after all. Very well, Gastis. Do you still have Cerberus's device? I didn't tell you everything about your stuff. It is a bridge between your two selves. But by coupling it with the powers of the devices you retrieved from the Cerberus and the Gatojeres, we can end Atlantis' cycle forever. I wasn't just awakening my sixth sense. I was unlocking the power to destroy the entire city. In the wrong hands, the staff has the power to destroy everything. That is why you, and only you, could be its keeper. You act like you knew this would happen. I'm tired, just as you are. I waited many cycles for Atlantis' final judgment to come. I only wish it had come sooner. Think of the suffering it would have prevented. If we do this, you and your sons... My family have had generations to show kindness, modesty, temperance. We refused. And in so doing, this choice was made by us as much as by you. The humans in this city don't deserve to die. When we do this, the horns will wail and the animals will be set free. Humans in the Borimos ring will know to take their boats. I assure you, they will escape. If we sink the city, but I'm in it, then I die too. No. You are the keeper of the stuff. It will protect you. Unfortunately for you, now is not your time. You said it yourself. Juno and Aida will never stop. I've seen those laboratories, the experiments in them. There's only one way to end the suffering here. Destroy this place. One wish is that I had more time to learn from you. In time, I may have learned to be more human. 
Kere, Poseidon. Keeper of the staff, your trials are over. Back in the throne room. Tell me, now that you have seen the fate of Atlantis, how do you feel? You want to know how I'm feeling? I'm tired, Alicia. Your burden is great, Keeper. The staff will replenish your physical body. But with time, you must learn that your strength comes from within. So what was all this? What you have experienced are echoes of memories. Distorted, but no less real. Whose memories? These two. Some were even my own. In my time as because this, I also tried to bring balance to Atlantis, but it wasn't enough. You? And now you. My trials forced me to reunite with my grandfather, Phoebe, Brasidas, even Elpinor. And in so doing, you passed a valuable trial. The staff has the power to prolong life. That is not your role. You must learn to say goodbye again and again, but let death take what it will from this world. Were they... real? They are with you always, so yes. In time, you must let them go, but that will be another trial. My trials in Elysium brought destruction and rebellion. Not due to you, but Persephone. She was a ruler who controlled her domain through extreme order. In so doing, you saw that her rule was doomed to failure. In the underworld, I was forced to endure a realm of pure chaos. Indeed. Hades was a king who invited that chaos, and devastation came with it. But know this. You will be forced to endure far worse suffering before your death has come. Elysium and the Underworld were doomed. But in Atlantis, I almost thought Poseidon and I could do some good. Yet there you discovered the issue as we really were. Flawed. No matter how many times I have seen that echo of memory, my home always meets destruction. I'm ready to leave. You coming? We are entwined after all. You saw Persephone rule through order, Hades through chaos, and even had a taste of being a ruler yourself in Atlantis. It was a disaster. You have seen there is no path to power for the Keeper. In the Staff, you have the ability to bring this world to its knees. But that is not your role. You must use your strength to restrain the power of the Staff. To guard it. To keep. My mother once told me I was sent by the gods to protect this world. I gave her my word. And now, I give my word to you. And what of your word, heir of memories? You must wake up and redeem yourself before it's too late, or it will be you who tears this world apart. Now wait! The interloper has found you! Wake! Now! No! Where are you? Talking to yourself, Layla Hassan? Clearly the Isu artifact has had quite the effect on you. You're going mad. 
Mr. Berg, you finally showed up. Most impressive. I knew if anyone could discover this place, it was you. But you left Abstergo before you could be assigned this mission. Sigma-6 found it just fine after you tapped into our comm signal. We know it was you. Correct. What you don't know is that I've been listening in for much longer. Ever since you found the Book of Herodotus, from Templar research, I'm sure you stole. Abstergo are murderers, and you're nothing but their killing machine. A righteous claim. And what of the Sigma team I dispatched earlier to find you? You killed them. Look, I saw your files in the Abstergo database. I know about Alina. If you knew what the staff could do for her... Don't say a word about her. Then forget it. I was trying to compromise. No compromising. The artifact is coming with me. You had no right to do what you did to Diana. You should have come after me. You're always next on the list. I'll check you off today. You're a real Yahomar, so this is over. Indeed. The world outside is coming to its inevitable end. Whose side you're on won't matter anymore. Come. Hand over the staff. It does matter. I'll always be an assassin. And if you want the staff, you're gonna have to take it from me. First Victoria, now me. Admit it, you can't handle the power of the artifact. Is, Mr. Berg. I don't care if you live or die. You just gotta get out of my way. <clears throat> Face it. Templar's lost. Two, come in! Oh. Atlantis oh. has been compromised! My legs... Alethea? Alethea! Okay, think, Layla. Your comms are broken. How do you get help? Vic, I failed you. I'm sorry I didn't listen. I wasn't there when you needed me. Remember that night you made dinner? I'm sorry I said you can't cook. If I knew this is what would happen, I never would have... Please. Send me a sign. Your earpiece.
Can anyone hear me? Victoria, uh, we've been trying to find a way to force communication. First, we lost everyone's vitals, and Elena. then... It's me. Layla? Uh, how? This is Victoria's channel. Where is she? What's been happening down there? Did you finish the trials? Yes, we have the staff. I finished our trials, but... That's incredible! An actual Isu artifact in assassin control. This changes everything. I'm not in control, Elena, and nothing's changed. Also, Berg is the interloper. He's in the throne room with me. Look, I'll explain everything, but the Templars know what we're doing, and they're after us. I need you to get me out of here. With you? Uh, are you safe? We fought. He passed out, but he's stable. Please don't make me check on him. You didn't kill him? No. He's still alive. Sit tight, Layla. We're coming for you, but it might take time. What are you gonna do? Until you get here, I'm going back into the Animus. There are a lot of people to say goodbye to.